Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Valeria, and this is the Afro Trench. Today, I would like to talk about balancing between work and rest. All of us would like to be active, cheerful, and ready to make our dreams true. We want to wake up with energy to follow our plans and finish the day with the joy of completed tasks. But sometimes there is so little strength that we are not able even to dream and to plan what we want. And no, I will not promote you magic pills or energy drinks or stimulants, because my channel is not about that. Today I would like to talk about the importance between uh, mental stress when we work at the computer all day long and physical activity when we play sports, go hiking and actively love another person. So let's go! It is impossible to achieve maximum productive performance without quality rest. And without good productivity, it is impossible to achieve our goals. High quality performance includes ability to focus and concentrate for several hours. Work without distraction to food, social media, mail and so on the ability to solve problems and uh, find solutions quickly, the ability to create new things, to complete tasks to the end, and also initiative and joy in your work. And high quality rest includes sleep, change of activity, alternation of physical and mental stress, rest for the brain and rest for the body. And it is more or less clear with the definition of high-quality work. Moreover, if something goes wrong, then your colleagues, employer, reports, uh, lack of bonus or even dismissal will tell you about the quality of your work. But when we talk about high-quality rest, there is a question. What is it? And I will sort everything out. The one thing we shall spend a third of our lives on is sleep. We shall have deep quality sleep in amount from 6 to 9 hours and have a sleep schedule. By the way, the amount of sleep is individual for everyone. But why is it so necessary? What do we get from the developed sleep regime? Stabilization of nervous system correct functioning of all organs, the production of hormones and their proper work, improving brain functions, compliance with biological clock. In other words, the way nature has been working for millions of years and we cannot go against nature. When we go to bed in accordance with nature, our body goes to sleep on itself, more naturally, falls asleep more deeply and easily. Simply put, the same schedule means that the body is used to certain types of activities and helps itself to be more efficient. In the day it is focused and concentrated on work and in the evening it prepares for rest according to nature. Scientists conditionally divide people by chronotype into larks, pigeons and owls. Lark is an early morning chronotype. People who belong to it um, wake up at 4-6 am and fall asleep at 8-10 pm. They are cheerful and active in the morning. Owl is a late night chronotype. Such people go to bed after midnight and wake up 
after 11, 12 a.m. and only after lunch they can start vigorous activity and work. Pigeons wake up a little bit later than larks and go to bed around 11 p.m. Each person has its own periods of energy for a particular activity. As a rule, these periods alternate. To understand your own periods of activity, uh, you shall listen to yourself, observe your actions and perhaps keep a diary. However, the most optimal mode is to be a lark. We need to sleep at night because it is time when the substances that the body needs to restore and maintain activity are produced. This way of living is more natural for a person. Throughout the evolution of humanity, for almost 7 million years, nature has adopted people to daily activity. The human body has a natural biological rhythm, so it wants to sleep at night. These people are in the vast majority. Moreover, the whole world works according to the large schedule, and owls and pigeons have more difficulties in this world. If you are interested, then you can gradually develop a habit uh, to a new daily routine. There are many tips on the internet on how to train yourself to go to bed earlier. But there is hardly any advice on how to go to bed later. And this confirms the benefits of being an early morning person one more time. Where do owls come from? Sometimes it's a biological feature, but there are very few such people, something like 2-3 people per thousand. Basically, owls appeared only when evening lightning and entertainment appeared. And most often people become owls due to disorganization and laziness or addiction to nightlife or internet addiction. Those who set themselves uh, the aim of becoming a lark again found out that it is possible to be well rested in the morning and uh, that the morning is a wonderful and cheerful time. So, in fact, there is a very high possibility that a person is a lark, but he knocked down his biological rhythm and rebuilt his body. Since childhood, when I lived in the countryside, I remember that I woke up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and I felt amazing. I love mornings, especially when I get enough sleep, and I know that in nature I sleep much better than in a city. But now, for a long time, I've been living in a big city and um, I know that my schedule doesn't suit me. That's why I want to live outside the city. Moreover, my future plan requires getting up at dawn and going to bed at sunset. And I will feel perfect when I will leave by biological clock. What happens if we have lack of sleep? It is chronic stress. And we have emotional overstrain. A several time decrease in immunity. Aggression. Headaches. Accelerated heartbeat. Overeating. Increased risks of cardiovascular diseases and heart attacks. With insufficient sleep, body cannot build up energy to maintain immunity. Various cells and substances for the formation of immunity are produced at night during sleep. Therefore, people with sleep deprivation are on average three times more prone to disease than if they have enough sleep. During sleep, the brain is detoxified. The brain needs to rest and cleanse in the literal sense of the word. The washing out of spent brain cells occurs only during a night's sleep. If this doesn't happen, then the risk of Alzheimer's disease increases, since this 
garbage settles on the walls of the arteries. When we don't get enough sleep, our stress level rises due to the hormone cortisol and we become impatient and aggressive. Later, the body gets more tired and cannot produce cortisol in full and sex hormones begin to replace it. And since these hormones are usually spent on sexual desire, then it is obvious that it disappears. Later, the body gets tired even more and the production of hormones is totally disrupted. A person constantly wants to sleep during the day, but cannot sleep at night. And the best way in this case is to spend at least a few weeks outside the city with natural sleep and plenty of physical activity. In addition, when we don't sleep enough, the production of hormones responsible for the frequency of eating and digestion of food is disrupted as well. We want to eat more often, we eat more and we don't feel that we are full. It means that we are more likely to gain weight. If it's okay for you, then no problem. But if you would like to be in shape you like, then you need have enough sleep and always in complete dark. Lack of sleep increases the risk of diabetes. And here I will make a digression and talk about what diabetes is and how it works. When we eat, all carbohydrates must be broken down and absorbed. I like topics of medicine so much. <laughs> it is just amazing how our bodies are built and what processes are going inside us. And uh, we don't know them and we cannot control them. And uh, there is no need for us to control all of, all of these processes because our bodies know better <laughs> what they should do and they can recover by itself and it's just amazing. <laughs> it's such a big secret that uh, we cannot understand. So, the main sources of carbohydrates are rice, pasta, potatoes, um, buckwheat, beans, uh, chocolate, sweets, um, sugar and so on and um, we eat carbohydrates more than fats and proteins and if everything is in order then all carbohydrates are broken down to glucose to simple sugar uh, this simple sugar is used by our bodies to provide us with energy at the same time a small organ called the pancreas produces the hormone insulin. Insulin binds with glucose and helps it to enter the right cells and gives bodies energy. Sugar is converted into energy and um, blood sugar level drops. If we sleep little then it is more difficult for the body to control blood glucose levels. It means that it is more difficult to reduce sugar levels. The reaction between insulin and glucose begins to slow down. Sugar is not converted into energy. The glucose level rises and the excess sugar begins to destroy our bodies. Blood vessels, tissues, muscles, nervous system, kidneys and so on and so on. If there is almost no reaction between insulin and glucose, then this disease is called type 2 diabetes and it is incurable. Daily artificial insulin injection is required. This disease develops slowly and often has no symptoms. And if there is type 2 diabetes, 
is there also type 1 diabetes? Yes, it is. Type 1 diabetes means that there is no insulin most often from birth. So, in first case, there is no insulin and in the second case, there is insulin, but the body doesn't respond to it. But both of them are incurable and a uh, person needs constant um, insulin injection. Otherwise, everything will be finished very sad and very quickly. It was uh, a short description and now let's go ahead and talk about the conditions of sleep. Sleep is divided into light and deep phases of sleep. Light phases are the periods when we fall asleep and wake up. Between them there should be deep sleep phases. It is time for recovery of the body and production of necessary substances. Without deep sleep phases you can sleep for example 16 hours and still feel tired. What can you do to have more deep sleep? The first factor is the need for complete darkness. It can be blackout curtains or a sleep mask. Even if you can sleep with a flashlight in your face, your body doesn't rest even if you think it is. The second factor. Before going to bed, you need to ventilate your room or sleep with an open window so that uh, it is enough oxygen. If there is enough oxygen, then you sleep more soundly. If you sleep more soundly, then you need less time to sleep. But if you live in Alaska, Norway or Finland, falling asleep with an open window, especially in winter, is a bad story. The third factor is silence. If you can sleep under fireworks or shooting, congratulations! Your body doesn't consider these factors as dangerous, doesn't react and has a rest. Or you are very despondent and your survival instinct is inhibited. Or there are other issues related to the violation of the central nervous system response to dangerous stimuli. And if it's easy to wake you up like me, then create conditions of silence. Get rid of neighbors. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, ask your lovers or partners not to make noise. Use special headphones for sleep. But you don't need to listen to music in them, of course. And also, it will be a good idea to provide good soundproofing of your bedroom during construction. Uh, this will help you not only to have quality sleep, but also will be an additional measure not to disturb your neighbors during active romantic hours. The next factor is a quality bed. If you sleep on a low quality mattress, then your body won't be able to recover because of twisted backbone and joints and pinched blood vessels. In addition, you will be rewarded with diseases. The main indicator shall be comfort at the moment when you get into bed. If you don't have any medical contraindications, then your bed shouldn't be very hard and shouldn't be very soft. It should be comfortable, so that when you go to bed after your working day, you are satisfied and spiritualized by the feeling that you are lying on this mattress. Of course, there shouldn't be any stress, work, movies or smartphones at least one hour before bed. Instead, make a slight stretch or have a walk before bed. It plays a role in calming the mind, feeling the body and sleeping better. And uh, also one more way to improve your sleep 
is supplements such uh, as uh, natural teas with herbs like uh, peppermint, chamomile or lemon balm. Just don't drink too much right before bed in order not to wake up one more time at night. The more factors from this list you can provide, the better you sleep, especially if you are in difficult conditions. But you cannot stay up at night and try to remove the lack of sleep in this ways or with medicine. The body still needs to rest and no salary or project will restore your health in the future. The consequences are much more serious and we often don't even know about them. Even in the popular things game from my childhood, from electronic arts, it is shown that you cannot be cheerful drinking several cups of coffee every day. I said earlier that for me rest is change of activity, alternation of physical and mental stress. But why? If I think that rest is lying on the bed and watching TV shows, then I have the next situation. I have been working, sitting, without moving for more than 8 hours. And after that, I will be lying, without moving, in the evening. So, the blood doesn't move. The organs aren't cleansed. Oxygen doesn't reach the organs. Toxins aren't washed out. Muscles don't move. And at the same time, after 8 hour working day, the brain receives a few more hours of information through books, series, cinemas, or even worse, social media. And after 8 hours of work, this information is useless, indigestible, or even harmful. And after a few more hours of background information, my brain won't be able to think clearly the next day. But most people don't even know how it feels when they think consciously and clearly because their brain is constantly overloaded. And I will talk about it in the video about information security which I plan to release in future. Also, it is very important to have a lunch break during your 8 hours working day. And it is better for efficient work to walk at least 2000 steps, so that muscles can pump blood efficiently, remove toxins and deliver maximum volume of oxygen from clean air to your brain with blood pressure. The alternation of physical and mental activity is both rest for the brain and rest for the body. For the brain, rest is the absence of mental stress to solve body business issues at night. These business issues might be the absence of unresolved working issues, the absence of immersions into thoughts that take away energy, the absence of searching for answers or reflection. It is also quality sleep uh, in order for all biochemical processes that affect the brain to take place. I mentioned it above. If you want, you can try the next experiment. Do not listen to music and do not watch Instagram and YouTube for 30 days and spend one hour of your free time in silence without communicating with anyone and watch the result. It is interesting what you will notice. In one month, leave a comment under this video with Mark experiment and write what interesting and new you have learned about yourself and what useful and interesting you have done instead of social media. And if you are interested, 
I will release a separate video about my results in this experiment. Rest for the body is food that have enough nutrients. You can find it in the video about the importance of proper nutrition. Also, rest is messages and a sauna to soften clogged muscles and to expel lactic acid. And most important, rest is regular, moderate physical activity in order to understand what the body needs, which muscles need relaxation, which muscles need exercises and stretching, which muscles tendons need recovery. Also, physical activity is strongly associated with quality sleep and level of wakefulness. Therefore, I would like to talk about the importance of physical activity. Those who do not have regular sufficient physical activity sleep worse, more super superficially, and, and as a result get tired faster. At the same time, we shall take into account that sport requires specialized nutrition and more time to sleep. Otherwise, physical activity will only harm and wear out the body. Therefore, first of all, you need to learn how to get enough sleep. But in parallel, make your body used to physical activity. It might be morning exercises, walks, amateur sports, yoga, dance, regular carnal pleasures, but not running for an hour in a big city on a treadmill located on a busy, dusty street. So, what physical activity is moderate and sufficient? There are a lot of sources, information and opinions about it on the internet, among coaches and doctors. If we talk about the number of steps per day, then uh, different sources say different. Some say 6,000, some say 10,000. If we talk about the number of workouts per week, then it's about 2-3 times a week. For me, number doesn't mean quality. For me, it's about conditions and well-being. You can walk uphill 5,000 steps and it will be like 30,000 steps in a city. You can go with a backpack with two laptops and food packages or without nothing. It is different, isn't it? As for me, my averages are from 5 to 20,000 steps a day and uh, sport from 3 to 5 times a week. And also I like to dance for myself. Yes, we need exercises. This is necessary to maintain muscle tone, reduce the load on the skeleton, produce hormones, relieve stress and improve our mood. What else does physical activity give us? Improving the functioning of all organs. Removing toxins, waste products and dead cells. Removing hormones residues and heavy substances. Good functioning of liver, good functioning of gallbladder and intestines, that is, absorption of substances, breakdown of fats and detoxification of the body, and also reduction of swelling and congestion. And uh, most importantly, physical activity is the main source of oxygen for our main consumer, our brain. It loves oxygen so much. Also, physical activity is a complete switch of attention of our brain from work 
to sensations of our body. All worries and tasks fade in the background. This information is sorted and deleted in the background without our participation. And at this time, we are totally involved what is happening with us and around us and enjoy the moment. When I will have physical activity in the garage or on the site for the implementation of the project, then I will have uh, less exercises. Of course, if I clean a garden or wash an engine in a garage or if I dig and cut trees on the site, then I will not go to gym after that. But I will definitely stretch at home. I love stretching, to be honest. And I think it is very important for a number of reasons. The first one is relaxation of muscles and ligaments. The second one is the improvement of the elasticity and preparation for stress. Not only muscles play a role of strength, but also fibers and tendons because muscles are wrapped into them. Another one reason is uh, an understanding of the state of our body. For example, asymmetric muscle tone or clumped parts of body or muscle overloads, possibility of injury and so on. So, when having physical activity, we understand whether the body wants to exercise certain muscles or, on the contrary, asks us to rest, which is also very important. There are various sport exercises and uh, training simulators that allow us to keep our bodies in good shape. Most often we can find them in gyms. Muscle underdevelopment leads to poor posture, improper stress on joints, increased risks of injuries, stagnation of fat and water, improper functioning of internal organs and occurrence of diseases that cannot be cured with medicine. If we talk about muscle overstrain, then this is shortening of muscles and changes in our position, as well as um, also possibilities of injuries, uh, which will not allow us uh, to move fully for weeks or even for months. For this, ointments are not very helpful. They are useful uh, for acute pain or at the initial stage, but they will not remove the cause of the pain. Therefore, we need a comprehensive development with a careful approach. And in this regard, I will tell you my story of a big injury that I got because uh, in a stressful situation I tried to translate anger in energy as much as possible, ignoring the signals of my body. A couple of years ago, one day, I had um, a very difficult, morally unpleasant situation with um, psychological pressure. I quarreled with my father forever. After that, I was very angry and stressful. I tried to do maximum exercises with maximum number of repeats. And after that, um, I tried to stretch as much as possible. But it was a completely wrong way to forget about the quarrel and relieve stress. I didn't pay attention that it was high time to stop. As a result, I received such a hip injury that I treated it for two years. Yes, I am not kidding. Due to my own stupidity, I wasn't able for two years to play sports, dance, work actively, go hiking and travel. I went to all kinds of doctors 
and all types of recovery procedures. I shot injections and uh, lost a lot of weight. Moreover, I considered myself smarter than doctors and didn't follow the recommendations. And only when my friend insisted on a good rehabilitation specialist and I began to visit him, listen to him and do what he said, I began to recover. So only after two years I was able to recover my leg fully. Sometimes it hurts and I think it wants to predict weather, but uh, these are only whims. I know that there is no injury, but anyway I treat it with care. And of course, physical activity includes active caresses. This is wonderful. Besides training muscles and stretching, active love several times a week and preferably every day is a great way to get a huge amount of hormones of happiness, to get rid of signs of depression, to get a reboot, to become closer to your lover and to try new things. Especially if both try their best every time. And that is how it should be in order to give maximum pleasure to each other. In addition, it will help you to know your body, listen to it and feel better what you like. So, I came up with a perfect schedule for myself. 8 hours for work, 8 hours for sleep, 3 hours for household duties, food, shower, laundry and so on. 3 hours for chatting with friends, walking, shopping and 2 hours for active love. But in fact, I think that I will have uh, this schedule not very soon because for the last two months I have been working hard. As you understand, sometimes I am like a walking encyclopedia. But in fact, my knowledge is very scarce. And if an expert in his field is listening to me, then I will be glad to hear opinions in the comments. I like to share knowledge and I have a hope that it will help someone else as well. However, I would like to say that my way of living may not suit you at all, since everyone has its own philosophy, lifestyle and state of health. I am talking about the importance of a holistic and systematic approach to any business, including building constructions, relationship and personal care. In other words, I am trying to awaken independence, responsibility and awareness in your life. Tell your opinion in the comments. I hope my stories will awaken interest in obtaining and applying new knowledge. But please, act wisely and not too abrupt. If you like my content, subscribe, like and support me in any way convenient for you. It was Valeria, the off-road range. See you soon and wish you all the best.